Another team of Canadian breast cancer researchers has created an estrogen sensing microchip that could eliminate the need for painful biopsies. Our health specialist, Jennifer Tryon, has details on that discovery. Dorothy Funk knows too much estrogen in the body can cause breast cancer. It's what killed her mother. This is actually the month that she died. Now she's in her 50s, afraid genetics will spark elevated levels of the hormone in her body too, putting her at risk like her mother. Even though we go into menopause, our body still produces estrogen, and breast cancer is estrogen-driven. Elevated estrogen levels are present in breast tissue. It's what causes tumors to grow. Until now, measuring the hormone and your risk meant cutting out a large sample of the breast tissue. In a typical system, one would uh, collect a sample of tissue uh, similar to this size. This is a, a burden for a patient. This is a, uh, something that requires anesthesia. But now Toronto researchers have designed a computer chip that will use just a droplet of cells, 1,000 times smaller than a tissue sample. An electrical current will process the sample almost instantly for immediate results. That revolution has happened for diabetes and we, we could imagine extending this, this sort of technology into cancer and other areas. More than 5,000 women will die this year of breast cancer in Canada. To reduce those odds, Dorothy is trying to lower estrogen levels with medication as part of a study. This new test could tell her doctor if the drug was working, if she needed a bigger dose, or if it was too late. If they would say this is part of our health care program, I think that would be just very, very, very good. Right now, the technology is spread across a workbench at the University of Toronto, but not for long. That the, the types of systems we've built here will be really easy to integrate into handheld devices. The Canadian Cancer Society is backing the project, wanting to see it used on the front lines. So what we're looking forward to in the next few years is to see this technology tested in people and brought to the, to, really to the clinics. Perhaps even a yearly needle, an instant red flag if elevated estrogen is detected. It could become part of a physical exam within five years. And with breast cancer, early detection is key. Kevin. Always, Jennifer, thank you very much. And a little later,